Okay, hey guys, Nathaniel from RST Insight here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to program your RTEC turn robot to turn when it hits an object. So, in order to be able to program your robot, you're going to have to download the RTEC software. You can find that on their website. Um, once you've downloaded the software, you can open it up and you get something that looks like this, our tech robotist. Okay? So the first thing you're going to have to do is go like this. You're going to have to click this little icon on top and you're going to make a new project and we're going to name this Turn Robot. Okay? You're going to click OK. So now we have a new program and then we're gonna have to go to edit and we're gonna go to port settings now we want DC motor 1 and 2 to be working we don't want any of the server motors to servo motors to be on or any of the buttons to be on we're gonna be using sensors a4 or a3 and a4 and these are both gonna be the touch sensors okay because that's the way it's set when it comes is that it's touch sensor A3 and A4. So now you can hit OK because that's all that's all set. So in order to program your turn robot you're gonna have it so start program and then you're gonna need to go to DC motor M1 to power 100 and DC motor M2 to power 100. Um, so that's just simply when you turn it on, the program starts and the car will start, or your robot will start. And then you need to set DC motor M1 to clockwise, just so you know which way wheels are going to go, and motor M2 to clockwise. So that's, that's what needs to happen when you initiate the program. Then after that, you have to go to your function, or your controls, and you have to go to forever because you don't want you want this to be a never-ending program okay then you're gonna go if touch sensor a3 where is it I should be able to get the touch sensor um just a second Edit, port settings. This just messed up. It's supposed to be it's supposed to look like this. Okay. There we go. If touch sensor A three um equals Sensing if touch sensor A3 value equals zero. Okay. Um, basically, what I've just done now is set it so that when touch sensor is pressed, when touch sensor A3 is pressed, this is what it's now going to do. Okay. So DC motor M1, we need to put power to 20 and power M2 to 100. Then we have to make M1 go counterclockwise and M2 go clockwise. So now it'll turn when touch sensor A3 is pressed. After this we want to wait one second and then we're gonna put so it's gonna do this for one it's gonna do this and that's gonna wait one second and then we're gonna once again go to motion and then we're gonna put the motors back to 100 and clockwise so this way it'll start going straight again but it will have avoided the wall 
oh sorry counterclockwise so actually that makes sense this way it hits the thing turns and then backs up I'm sorry so now what we've set when a touch sensor a3 is is um hit the car will t turn go backwards and then again wait one second control and then we want to put DC motor M1 set to counterclockwise and DC motor M2 I didn't mean to do that like that but to clockwise and then we're going to be turning the car again right so now it'll have turned gone back and turned so we're going to have done a full 180 and we're going to start heading the other direction or it'll be close to 180 so then we're going to wait one second control wait one second and then DC motor M1 should be set to power 100 again. I'm oh, sorry, no. To clockwise and DC motor M2 to clockwise. Okay, so then you need to wait until. So now you're setting up some more operations. But first, I have to go to control, sorry. Wait until touch sense operators this or. Yeah. So then you need to make it or. Wait until. This is a little complicated. So we've now set our whole thing. So now we need to, now we're having the the thing wait until, once again, either touch sensor A3 is value pressed or touch sensor A4 is value pressed. So, or is pressed, so value equals zero. That just means it's pressed. Um, so if I go touch sensor A3 value equals zero, which means it's pressed and touch sensor A4 value equals zero, which means it's pressed. So now when touch sensor, this will turn on and then forever it will repeat this cycle when touch sensor A3 is pressed, it will do this. And then after it's completed that, it will wait until either touch sensor A3 or A4 is pressed or hit again, and then it will start the cycle. So now we need to do touch sensor A4. So we need to set up so when the touch sensor A4 is hit. So we have to go back to control and we have to do if again. Oh wait, sorry. If has to be. So that's something you want to, I'm not doing right here. It's something you want to make sure is that your two ifs are not in the same place. This is all forever. The wait until should be outside both ifs and then there should be the second if. Okay, so don't screw that up or it will screw up your whole program. So then again, you're going to put in this equals and now touch sensor A4 equals zero. You're going to do repeat the same process, but in the opposite. So motion DC po uh, motor M1 power to 100 instead of having it at 20 and M2 to 100, we're going to change this to M2 and drop it down to 20. So you're just going to continue repeating this cycle up here. M1, M2, and now M2 will be counterclockwise. <sighs> Let me see. And then, wait one second. And then DC motor M1 should 
sorry. DC motor M1 would be power 100. DC motor M2 would be power 100. And then DC motor M1 counterclockwise and DC motor M2 counterclockwise, just repeating the cycle but in reverse. And then, of course, we do DC motor M1 to clockwise. But, of course, I'm forgetting. You have to wait one second. Um, so, wait one second. Motion. And then we want to set them both back to... Or, M1 to clockwise and M2 to counterclockwise. So, we're finishing the turn. And then, wait one second, DC motor M1 to, one to clockwise and DC motor M2 to clockwise. So now I just kind of set so that we're both going clockwise again. So that's all very simple. That is how to program your Artec turn robot. Um, so that when it hits something, it will turn. Um, I have to get the USB cable and put a, plug it in um, and transfer the program. But this is exactly how it's done. Um, very simple start program. It'll turn your robot on. And then when touch sensor A3 is hit, it will go through the process of turning it. And then after that, it will wait until either touch sensor A3 or touch sensor A4 are hit. And then touch sensor, a and then for when touch sensor A4 is hit, we need to rewrite the same program up above, but in reverse. So it'll do the turn, and that'll keep going on forever. So very simple program, not very long. One of the easiest scratch program I've seen. But anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you found this video useful. Bye.